no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net As most Americans are becoming increasingly accepting of gay people and gay marriage there are some churches around the country who are going in the reverse direction. And by around the country, I mean mainly North Carolina. And by going in the reverse direction, I mean freaking the fuck out. Most of you by now are familiar with Pastor Worley, who said that gay people should be locked inside an electric fence together, given food to eat, and then they would eventually die out because they can't reproduce. You have to admit, this plan is flawlessly thought out. For example, Worley made sure it was an electric fence and that there would be food drops. As if otherwise he would have presented this proposal to his congregation and they would have responded, Hold on just two seconds here. That is the stupidest idea. Even gays know how to cut through a regular fence. You gotta make it electric or something. And furthermore, you better you better have some food drops or something because they're gonna be hungry. And, and have you even thought out the, the mass transit system and, and where they're gonna go for bowling and ping pong? I don't think you've thought this out one bit. But despite all of Worley's planning and blueprints and early mornings and eating extra paint chips just to really get his mind going, he apparently failed to realize that gay people are often born to heterosexual parents. That's right. People are born gay, often to non-gays. You know what people aren't born with? religion, and hatred of an entire group of people. Those two things have to be taught. Those two things have to be jammed into your tiny skull before you're smart enough to be repulsed by it. There's no homosexual Sunday school where children are sent to be trained in the art of gay, but there is a religion Sunday school where scared kids are told to love the Lord or they'll burn in hell. It's not a natural love, it has to be forced on them. There's also a viral video going around right now of a three-year-old boy in church singing Ain't No Homo Going to Make It Into Heaven. Now, I don't know about you, but I am disgusted by this video. I am absolutely sickened by the idea that parents, the idea that parents would spend time and effort to train their sweet, impressionable toddler to sing a song with a double negative in it. Sure, it's a positive song because the ain't and the no cancel each other out so that the song actually means all homos will get into heaven. But still, grammar is so fucking important at that. Age. Seriously though, I don't know if that church wants to bank all their ignorant anti-homosexual fervor on the three-year-old boy who is already starring in musical numbers. Something tells me that kid might turn out to be a Manchurian candidate. And then there's Pastor Beatty in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, who wants gays and lesbians to be prosecuted. Not clear what he wants them prosecuted for, perhaps existing outside church doctrine, but then you'd also have to prosecute most scientists, which isn't far off in the backwards world of North Carolina. Who needs time machines? Just head down to North Carolina. They burn scientists at the stake, they think vaccines are the devil's work, and they still listen to Smash Mouth. New motto, North Carolina, where modern thought is a thing of the past. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. For a limited time, if you become a $5 a month member at LeeCamp.net, you'll not only be helping Moment of Clarity keep going, you'll also get a free signed copy of my new live comedy album, Pepper Spray the Tears Away. Thanks a lot. Keep fighting. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.